clip my wings when I, I was born to fly. So don't Salut à tous les internautes d'imaramedia.com Nous sommes toujours à Miami et nous sommes partis à la rencontre de Rachel London Bonjour Elle parle <rire> un petit peu français, c'est une brillante artiste, elle chante, elle écrit elle-même ses chansons et elle vient de LA, Los Angeles qu'on connaît bien euh, Elle va nous parler un petit peu d'elle-même, sa carrière et puis de sa vision un peu du milieu du showbiz Je vais un peu la taquiner Um, I'm gonna kidding you a little bit. If you You're mind. kidding. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tell me, Rachel, mm -hmm. um, you said you're born to create and connect with people over the world. Yes. Tell me more about it. Well, first of all, it's happening right now because you're from <laughs> Paris, so that's yeah, perfect. Sure. <laughs> um, I think I had a moment when I was a child and I was in the backseat of my parents' car and I, I realized that there were people going all these different places and I all of a sudden had this aha moment. The world doesn't revolve around me and there are all of these people. Where are they going? Who are they? How can I be friends with all of them? And I literally asked my parents, who are these people? Can I be friends with all of them? And my parents were like, no, you can't meet everyone on the planet. And I just, I feel like through artistic creation, you can connect to so many people. And For you, it's the best way to be connected so, to it's people. It's so incredible. The first time I heard one of my songs on the radio, I was sitting on my couch wearing sweats. <laughs> and I was like, I'm reaching people in different countries all over the world. Yeah, sure. And I'm sitting on my couch in sweats, and yet I can still be with them. And I just thought that was a really beautiful thing. What is the thing that makes you more vibrate in music? Um, more vibrant in is music? Is it studio sessions or stage? What is I think it? for me, I really, I again, it's about connecting with the people and I have a background in musical theater, so it's that live performance element and it is always terrifying, but I think that it's that, that adrenaline that really, that's what does it for me. It's, that's what. You sing, you write. Is it the best way to, um, I mean, properly evolve as an artist? I think an artist is, encompasses so many things. If you say, I'm a singer, that's one thing. If you say, I'm a writer, that's one thing. If you say, I'm an actor, that's another thing. But to say I'm an artist embodies a lot of different things. Sure. So when people refer to me, I, I would prefer to be an artist because even you know when you do makeup, when you, I love to paint, I love to conceptualize the things that I do for my, co my cover art, you know, that's... It's a lot more than just one element. Okay, yeah. so tell me something. You're so girly, glamorous, gorgeous. <laughs> you like pink, pink color. You like it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some pics on Google. <laughs> so, is it really you? Is it, or is it a choice? You know, to touch people. Is it a choice to be girly? Is it a choice to reach girls? For example, tell me more about it. I feel like every individual has so many sides in, in them that. Pink is totally that girly, prissy, <laughs> that's definitely part of me, that's part of who I am. We're, um, Troy, Remy and I are going to do a track tomorrow that's a little bit darker and it has more of this like seductive energy and you know that's another part of me so I, I think it's great to be able to reinvent yourself and be reinventing yourself all the time. Okay, for you what is the most difficult thing as a female, female artist? Um, being compared to other artists and oh. wondering, you know, with A&R, for example, what makes you different than Katy Perry, for example, or this person, for example, um, and really finding the channel to reach a lot of people because, I mean, that's why I am creating art is so that I can connect with people. And so finding that outlet is the biggest challenge. So about the image as an artist, mm -hmm. do you have people who help you like, okay, you don't, you should wear this or instead of this, you should just have a piercing here. Mm -hmm. Do you have people who help you about that? Speaking of piercings, I like your lip. Thank <laughs> piercing you. is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know what? People like to tell me a lot of different things, but I just like to play. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you saw the cover for Toxic Magic Tragic. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I in love the water, it. I love it's her. like, it's supposed to be the abyss. And I'm like, it's, I have this like thing over my eye. And that was my idea. It's just, again, to be an artist, you get to play in so many different ways. So it's not really other people at this point telling me who I should be or what I should try. It's more about me just trying your things feelings, on for size. Feelings. Yeah. Okay. Any female references? 
I grew up listening to Madonna <laughs> and who doesn't love her. And the thing that I really like about Madonna is that she was a smart businesswoman. She had a lot of dedication. It's not that she's the best female vocalist. It's that she had this vibe, this energy about her that she, same thing, she was driven. She was willing to work hard and she got the right people around her to make it happen and stopped at nothing. That's what I like about Madonna. Of course, the songs are good. Um, I, you know, Katy Perry is extremely talented also. So those are a couple of artists that I like. Do you have any crazy dream about music? <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're crazy. I, don't think, I wouldn't be doing this as a career if I thought it was crazy. But um, I have sort of a random thing, which, um, you know, my friends and a lot of people that I collaborate with kind of tease me about. But as much as I do pop or maybe a little dance or that kind of stuff, I really want to write. And I have songs that I've written. I would love to write with Josh Groban. Okay. And that's like, it's such a different genre. But... I don't know. I just like I really want to write with him. So, I don't know if that's crazy though. <laughs> <laughs> it's depend the vision of the people, but that's cool. Yeah. That's a cool vision. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me, today you were collaborating with Troyton Remy, the huge one. Um, <laughs> tell me more about that. What does this man brings to you professionally? Um Well, I think, first of all, the people that I choose to work with professionally, I have to believe in as human beings. Yeah. And when he and I met, we just kind of had this thing. Like, we just sort of synced and we're like, we just see eye to eye and there's this energy that we share where we're like, you know what? I get you. And, I, like, we are on the same page for the reasons that we create. And, you know, and that's what's really important to me. Of course, he's very talented. Of course, he's had, you know, many success stories. And he brings a lot to the table in that regard. But... To me, the heart of what I appreciate in Troy is that he's going to go that extra mile and, like, you know, pull it out of me and make sure that he's also bringing his heart to what we're doing. Okay. And today you were even rapping. <laughs> <laughs> it's your first time, right? <laughs> um, uh, it's not my first time. Okay. But... It's always, sometimes in sessions, um, I worked at Stankonia, which is um, Outcast Studios, Big Boys Studio. Yeah. Um, and it was funny because I was like, oh, I have this idea. And they're like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, try it. <laughs> and I was like, da, 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 da. And they were like, what the heck? <laughs> so it was, um, it was funny. And it's kind of, it's kind of fun to always There find. There's no limit actually in the music. Yeah, exactly. That's the cool thing. So it's like, why not try these other things? Um, tell me more about the song I'm All Yours. What does this song represent to you? Um, it represents the hopeful romantic in me. Um, so, you know, I'm single, but I am such a romantic. And so I write a lot of kind of bleeding heart lyrics and I want you, I want to find you, where are you, whatever. <laughs> um, when I find you, but this one was sort of like, you know what, let's just go for it. Let's let's embody what it feels like to have found that person. So that's what that song means to me. And it's funny because one of my best friends is getting married and she asked me to sing that at her wedding. And I'm oh, thinking, that's so cute. oh my gosh, it's a perfect song to sing at a <laughs> wedding. So I'm going to just do like a little piano version and okay. it'll be really nice. You can be girly, you can be rock. What else? I mean, I think I have a career as a rapper. I <laughs> Just tell me now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably not. What could you say right now to those people, those young artists who are watching us at the moment? What could you say to us as a as a message, you know, you you would send out to them? Um I this is one that I really like and I hope it doesn't come across as cheesy, but um the word impossible really is just I'm possible. And so if you keep that mentality about everything you do, you have a drive that feeds you from within and passion. I think no matter what it is you're doing, if you're, if you're getting involved in any type of art, whether it's acting or music or writing, if you don't feel this calling, it's like, you know, it just wants to get out of your body. If you don't feel it so strongly, I, I don't recommend it. You have to find that thing that you, you feel gives you a sense of purpose. Yeah. that gives you that sense of happiness and like you're saying vibrancy and all of these you know that's what's really important so i think it's important to first get in touch with yourself understand who you are what's important to you and and then run from there and don't let anyone tell you that 
you have to you stop. Can, yeah, you can't do that. Because what's the point of life if you're not going to pursue the things that sure. are important to you? I like that. I like that, girl. Thank you, <laughs> really. Thank you so much, Rachel, for this time you shared with me. You're very Tell welcome. Tell me what's next coming for you. Well, I'm working with uh, Troy right now on yeah. a couple of songs, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and I think we got a couple of smashes, so <laughs> keep, a, keep an eye out. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can use that. Cool. Bye bye. And you can't take my heart. I feel the earth beneath my feet. The road to you isn't paved, but I trust we'll meet.